reason why rates are increasing the way they are is because the Fed is trying to calm the inflation down. Essentially, their strategy is to go and increase interest rates to make it more expensive uh, for people like you and I to go and purchase uh, you know, goods like a home or a car or something like that. And they're trying to slow down the demand um, in order for the markets to catch up with the supply. Um, there was an article uh, I think I put on my Twitter page last year regarding uh, the shortages of houses that we have to keep up with the demand uh, currently. And an interesting stat was between the years of 2012 to 2021, uh, 12 million new households were created and about only 7.8 million uh, new, um, new homes were built. So there's obviously a huge shortage um, you know, of homes out there in the market to be available for people to, to buy. Um, you also have a lot of folks who are not looking to sell their home. Um, and, you know, which I could kind of, I could see their reasoning why, because if they do sell, you know, where are, we, where, where are they gonna go, right? So where are we gonna go, it would be the question. And then, you know, folks don't wanna pay uh, at a higher tax basis. A lot of these folks have been in their homes for quite some time, raised their children. The rates are gonna most likely continue to increase. The Fed just raised the, um, you know, the Fed rate by, you know, three fourths of 75 basis points, excuse me. And they're most likely gonna be increasing it again, another 75 basis points. And um, at the end of the day, you know, it, it's the, the issue is supply and demand. It's very fundamental, supply and demand. We just got way more demand than we do have uh, supply. And until the supply catches up um, or, the, or the demand quells, you know, prices are going to continue to be very aggressive. Rates are going to continue to increase until uh, this inflationary problem kind of calms down a bit. So uh, this could be setting up a good opportunity for folks to get in now and at least hedge against, you know, further increases in home prices. Um, and then, you know, this will just set you up for the, you know, for the refinance play down the road. So, um, but that's what I think. I mean, I think that, you know, we're going to kind of, you know, we're going to continue to be heading up north for the, for the foreseeable future. And, uh, you know, that 2%, 3% interest rate party, man, I mean, I'm telling you, those were some good times. I'm telling you, I would just call people up and be like, yo, man, I got, man, what you want, man? Two and a half, 2.75. I got this for you. And, uh, you know, those times is over now, man. So right now, let's uh, let's really put our thinking cap on. We got to take the emotion out of making these decisions and just look at the reality of the matter, and then make the best decision uh, moving forward. So if you do want some expert advice and expert opinions into what's going on into the market right now, feel free. Reach out, just drop me a DM. Um, and I'll try to answer any questions and we can start a dialogue. Feel free to give me a call if you do have any questions and trying to buy in California. You can always reach me at 415-464-8204. This is Michael Cadet from the Cadet Mortgage Team signing out. Peace.